Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Live Bird TV. It's a fantastic news coming in that Mohamed Salah wants to stay at Liverpool, and we all knew he would anyway, just to annoy the Mancunians even more. So, yeah, I kind of knew this news was coming. I kind of I, I knew what he was doing on Sunday against Manchester United. He was letting the owners and everybody at the club know that he will leave and he's not prepared to uh, to even think about it. He's just going to get it done. So it sort of pushed them into the corner. Richard Hughes and Arnie Slot. Slot's always said he wants him to stay anyway. Every Liverpool fan that can bleed the Liverpool red wants him to stay. We love Mo. It's been an amazing uh, few years with him. And I, I've said this, he's that fit. He could literally go for... He could go for Ian Rush's record. I know it's still quite a long way away, but you wouldn't put it past him getting 30 a season for the next four years. He's just that good. Uh, so I'm buzzing with this news. And the news that's just been filtered through comes from various sources like Paul Gorst uh, and other other outlets as well, who's quite reliable when it comes to the source, uh, comes to the, the real information that comes our way. And it's that basically his daughter's a Liverpoolian and he's happy in the city. He spoke to Sadio Mane and Sadio Mane's more or less said to him to swerve Saudi because it's a crap league, basically. So, yeah, Mo, listen to listen to Sadio and don't go and blow the last few years of your career playing in the desert for loads of bags of money when you're loaded anyway. All this nonsense I hear about, oh, Saudi's life-changing money. How are they not already life-changing money as it is? I mean, Mo's on 350 grand a week, right? He's probably got millions in endorsements. He's probably got about 60 million in his bank, right? And then when he goes back home to Egypt, he could probably be the bloody king. So it's, he doesn't need to go to Saudi. He will, but he doesn't need to go to Saudi yet. But I'm buzzing with this news. And let's hope that Trent, Virgil, Canate and Robbo follow, even though I think Robbo might see out his contract and go back to Celtic. I've said that on my previous videos. But buzzing with the news. Up the red, men. Keep subscribing. Keep liking this channel because it's going to grow and grow and grow. And it's going to be just like Mo. You'll never walk alone.